All right, so in this video, we're going to start out in um, part two, talking about our sleeve. So if you look right here, this is uh, my cardigan. It's turned after joining right side out. And I'm going to show you guys how to do the joining and everything, but I'm just doing this to kind of give you an idea of what happens with these parts and pieces that you have been working on. So if you look right here, just ever so slightly, you can see the joining right along there. And that is where this regular, just run of the mill, nice long square rectangle that I created was folded over in this way. Hopefully you guys can see that. Just folded it over like that. It's joined right here on the side. And then when I attached it to my project, I had the side panel right here that was joined to the back panel and the front panel and I joined it and then when I joined my sleeve it brought the sleeve into a shape like so where it works out perfectly joins up gives you the right type of drape and I did want to talk to you guys about sizing the sleeve because that's going to be something that's going to be different for everyone because everybody's arms are completely different. In the video, I gave the, um, or down in the description of the video, I gave the counts. And this is based on measurements, this is based on personal knowledge, that sort of thing. But the best thing that I can give you as a tip is before you start your sleeve, especially for us plus size girls, you're going to want to do that starting chain. And then you can use a little stitch marker or something or just tie it off together with yarn. And you want to slide that up your arm to the largest part of your arm, wherever you have the most size. You know, I, I have fat arms. So for me, I go to the fattest part of my arm and I make sure that that laying there is going to be not too tight. And then you want to go ahead and pull it on up towards the shoulder area to make sure that that's comfortable around your arm and that you're going to like that fit. You can always add, in this case for this pattern, an additional seven chains to start out with. So the multiples on this pattern is the seven plus three at the end. So when I'm giving you your counts down in the description, I'm telling you exactly what number of chains to do. So you would just simply add seven or subtract seven from that number if you want your sleeve to be um, larger or smaller. So make sure that when you get even just a few rows done, you can go ahead and I use stitch markers in my case and I connected it together and then I slid this up on my arm as I was working to keep checking my fit. This is meant to be kind of like a wide sleeve. It doesn't do any tapering down or anything like that. I kept it extremely simple, but I also like that particular style personally. So in this case, for the very, very beginner of crocheter, this is a very easy sleeve to make. This is a very easy cardigan to make. And it allows you just to do simple shapes, rectangles basically, and join those together, and you end up with a finished piece. You guys can't see without me pointing out right here, right here, right here. Those all look exactly the same, but this is actually a seam right here on this side. And if you come over here, the seam is over here, but it blends in. This is the side panel. So this is where on all of your panels, we're going to be talking about matching them up at the very bottom and making sure that you start your um, seaming when you're starting to sew them up. We're going to start at the bottom, keeping everything even at the bottom. But this is where you end up adding in the side panel to make this piece a little wider so that it fits you correctly. Now, mine is not made for myself. I did not make it where I'm going to be buttoning it or anything because I'm going to have this really pretty border all the way around. So I'm going to do that, and that actually gives me a little bit more um, width to my front panels. So I'm going to have this all the way around. I don't want to pin this together in any way, but you could. And you would just simply adjust a little bit. You might want to do a row of double crochets before starting the actual border. And we'll talk more about that later. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys all those parts do end up forming a piece that looks exactly like a cardigan. 
and you're really going to enjoy this. I've put it on, halfway on anyway, several times. I like it. So we will go ahead and get started on how you begin joining and which parts you join first. All right, so we're back, and what you're looking at, as much as of, it, of it as I can get in the camera anyway, you're looking at the back panel. So this is the back panel of your piece. You're going to pick your stitch, stitch direction at this point. Um, so you're either going to have everything going in the shape where it's like a V going upward, or you're going to do it where everything is in the shape of a V going downward. So this is the point where you're going to pick that direction for your particular piece. And then you want to make sure that you keep all of your pieces as far as your front panel, side panels, you want to keep them all going in the same direction. So for mine, um, I didn't pay attention to that. So <laughs> that's why I'm bringing that up to you guys. So and the other thing is we're going to start with joining the front panel onto the back panel. And I also kind of rushed ahead and joined mine. But what I've done is I've gone back with some yarn that is in a different color to show you guys where I joined. So right here, as you can see, all the way across, kind of looking sloppy, is my join. I kind of just had to go back through right over the join that I had. Um, you want to make sure that you've got your front panel in the correct direction um, and so that it matches up and is the same as your back panel direction wise so right here is the join so let's flip this over so you guys can see how that works out so right here is my front panel you are going to first the only thing you have to worry about is matching up your edge over here so this is the outside edge this is where our sleeve is going to join right over here so we want to match up our outside edge and then you want to join all the way across using your yarn needle. I'll show you the join in just a second because we're going to put on the side panel next and we're going to do that together. But we want to make sure that we go ahead and join all the way across. You're not going to stretch it out or anything. You just kind of want to line up your pieces um, so that your V's here are matching up the little puff stitches you want to just match them up and keep that same tension going all the way across hopefully you guys can see where the pink is that's your join so now once you've joined that all the way across the next step that you're going to do is you're going to bring your panel down and you're going to see here that when you do the match up like I'm going to tell you you're going to go right here this is my back panel and here is my front little panel they're much smaller we're going to make sure that down here at the end edge so we're making sure in every case that at the end edge so the bottom edge this is my bottom of my cardigan we are matching up we want to make sure that lengthwise the front panel and the back panel are positioned exactly the same so they're just going to match up because up here the reason why you did your front panel longer as or as far as I mean longer I mean more rows um, you did more rows on your front panel than you did on your back panels because the front panel part of it acts as your shoulder so if you look right here Kind of line mine up a little bit better. Stretching this thing all around. If you look right here, this is acting as my shoulder right now. So our join is actually back here around, just around the top of our shoulder. So it should meet just at the back edge of your shoulder, basically. And then the back panel continues on. So the, that is why we did more rows on our um, front panels than we did our back panels because we're making our shoulder piece all in one basically so we want to make sure that we line up down here at the bottom edge because we're going to next join on our side panel and the side panel is what's going to increase the width on the sides obviously of your piece so you're going to make sure that you take your side panel you want to make sure that you're matching up your stitch direction 
So if you've got them pointing down, make sure that your side panel that you're about to join, let me scoot this over so I can see they're two different pieces. This is my side panel. We're going to make sure that my side panel is matching with the direction of my um, front panel, the way the stitches are going. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our side panel and we are going to match it up with the bottom edge down here. So here's my bottom edge. We're going to make sure that we match that up and then we're going to join all the way along here. All right, so now that we've got it matched up, we've got our direction of our stitches in the same exact direction. For my case, I'm going downward. I've got my ends over here matched up. It's the most important thing. If you start joining, you're not paying attention to that. Your side panel will end up being joined offset from the bottom and the cardigan will not look right. You'll be all kind of wonky. So just make sure you're matching up there at the bottom. Make sure your stitch direction is in the same direction. Now we're going to take our yarn needle, and I'm going to do this just for this part of the tutorial to show you guys. I'm going to use this different colored yarn. Obviously, use the same yarn you've been using, unless you're going for a really unique look. And then, in that case, do whatever you want to do. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead on the inside, and I'll show you guys that towards the end of this video so you can see what I'm talking about. Because I did a slip stitch join on um, these panels on my particular piece. So, you're just going to join on down at the end of your project. Let me get that out of the way. So I'm down here, and I'm right here at the end. I'm slipping into just a stitch on each side. So hopefully you guys can see that. So I'm right here at the end, nice and lined up, and I'm just simply going to go in to the very next stitch, and I've got a piece from each side to pull that apart so y'all can see. So you just want to make sure you're picking up one stitch from each side and then you can go ahead and pull on through and you don't want to pull it super tight. You don't want to cinch anything in. You just want to have, but you don't want to do it too loose either. You just want to do a nice secure join. And then I'm going to go right on down to the very next stitch and I'm going to grab one from this side and I'm going to grab one from this side and then I'm going to go ahead and pull on through and I'm going to continue to do that all the way up till I've met the end of the side panel right here wherever the side panel stops that's where we stop joining so you're just going to go through just like this grabbing one stitch from each side So we're going to keep going all the way up until we get to the top of the um, side panel and then we'll stop there. So just make sure you're getting a stitch from each side. Hopefully you guys can see that really good. I'm trying to do it in a way that you can see what I'm doing. And I'm not pulling super tight. I'm just pulling where it's nice and secure. So you don't have a super, you don't want to yank on it and make it kind of bunch up the stitch uh, you just want to grab one from each side and make sure sorry if my yarn's getting in the way you want to make sure that you're doing that one from each side and then just pulling them so they're just going to sit just like nice and firmly together but not cinch down tight hopefully that is making sense to you guys so you're just going to keep on going side panel to, in this case, front panel. And then we're going to seam up um, the side panel to the back panel. And then we'll be moving on to our next step. But we're going to go ahead and pause the video here. You can continue to seam up here on the side. And then you're going to meet back up with me when you've gotten up here to the end of this side panel where it ends and you've joined that and then we will meet back up and we will go over here and work on how we join it to the back it's the same thing but we'll just do it step by step together um hopefully that makes sense to you guys and we'll be back in just a moment all right so now we're back in what i did is i went ahead and pulled out that pink yarn so that i could go ahead and seam up on the side i did just a single crochet seam so you can do the yarn needle and thread and sew up the side. You can do a single crochet um, seaming. You can do a slip stitch seaming. Whatever you prefer. 
we're just joining those together. So this is the front panel again, and this is the side panel that I was joining. So now, if you're paying attention to what you got going on, we have our back panel back there. And we're going to need to take and join our side panel here to the back panel. So down here at the bottom again, at the bottom edge, this bottom edge down here, I'm going to make sure that I'm lined up. And then I'm going to seam all the way along here, all the way until I have my panels joined front, side, back. So then, at that point, I'm going to end up with my sleeve hole, armhole, right here in this piece. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to seam up this back, and then the last step will be joining our seam together. Um, on our sleeve to form the actual tube of the sleeve and then joining the sleeve to this and then our cardigan will be together and we'll just add our border so we're going to go ahead and get started just like before I am going to use a different color yarn to show you what I'm doing um, I think this is beginning to be very self-explanatory you probably don't need me to show this but just in case I'm gonna do it one more time and then we're gonna see what we end up with so I'm going to do the single crochet join this time and real quick for you guys so we're coming into our bottom corner and you can tell you're at your bottom corner um, first of all the edges of this piece end with the what counts as two double crochets so I'm able to go one two three and know that this is my corner plus I have my little knot there from where I um, was doing my bind off so now here on the um, on my side panel right now joining in there now here's the back panel and I'm just gonna go into that very corner stitch so it'd be the third chain down and I'm gonna insert my hook and then I'm gonna bring on my um, slip knot and pull it on through do 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 oops pulled it right on out sorry so we're just going to pull it right on through and then I do a chain just to kind of lock that in place and then for me since I'm doing this as a single crochet join I have to go ahead and turn the work so that I can I can start working up but in essence here is my side panel and I'm just going to work to the top of that and then I'll be stopping there sorry I'll be stopping there so all we're doing is getting our hook um, under a stitch from each side. Hopefully you guys can see that right there on my hook. Got those two stitches. And then I'm just going to pull through and start doing a single crochet. Obviously because this is larger yarn um, than what I originally used, it's bulking up quite a bit. With the one I just showed you, it doesn't bulk up quite as bad at all. You know, it's not very noticeable of a seam. So you just continue on down. You can do this with a yarn needle, like I said. Whatever way you prefer. The main thing is, is we're just joining them together. So you just need to get your pieces together so that we can move on. So you'll just work all the way up until the top of your side panel. And then you will bind off, clip your yarn and end there. And then we will come back and we will do our sleeve. Um, I'll show you how you go ahead and turn your uh, rectangle sleeve into a tube and then we will attach it to our project and then we will be able to move on and do our border and the border is going to be the most in-depth part of this uh, part of the tutorial because obviously I have to teach it to you guys so we're going to go ahead and speed on through this you're going to come back and meet up with me when you have your um, seam all the way done you're going to meet up here at the top corner of your back of your back panel or I'm sorry your side panel to your back panel, we'll end there, and then we'll move on. All right, so we're back, and I'm gonna show you just real quick what we've got here. So hopefully you guys can see, I've got a seam here and here. This is my side panel. This is my front panel. Over here, way over here, all of this, this is the back panel. And now, when you pull it down like I just did, you have a sleeve. This is my armhole that I've formed. Hopefully that's fitting in the camera well enough where you guys can see. So we've got, you can see that seam. I didn't remove that yet because I just wanted you guys to see. 
So when I've got everything all seamed up and I've matched at the bottom edge, this falls naturally back in the back of on the back panel. So it'll lay on your back. And then you have this area right here. This is our last big obstacle to tackle and it's not even that big. We're going to add in the sleeve now. So we're gonna be just doing a seam all the way around on the edge. And to get started though, before we can add it to the card again, we've gotta take that rectangle that we made and we've gotta fold it over. So we've gotta fold it over and we've got to do a join right here on the side, which I won't go over with you guys because I know you get it by now. You're gonna join it together. And then you are going to match your direction and make sure it's gonna move just like the rest of your panel in the front. You want it to face in that same direction and you're gonna line it up and you're going to sew. Um, just like you've been doing, I find it easier to do the um, yarn needle when doing the sleeve because we're gonna be working in the round essentially. So for me, it's easier doing the yarn needle but you can still slip stitch with your hook or whatever you prefer. So we're gonna get that on there and we're going to join it on. And then once you have joined your sleeve, then we will start the border. So you're gonna go ahead and from here, um, I'll come back and show you how I position the sleeve. Um, once you get it seamed up here on the side um, and actually form that tube that we need to do our, to actually make a sleeve. So go ahead and join on the side and then meet back up with me in just a moment. And I'll show you how I position the sleeve on. I do recommend you grabbing some stitch markers um, so that you can kind of pin it in place so it doesn't move around on you. Don't need a bunch of them, but you know, four or five will do. Um, and then you can take those out as you work. But we'll meet back up in just a second and we'll put the sleeve, position it onto the rest of the cardigan so you can get started on that part. All right, so now we're back and what you've got here is your um, panels that you've joined together. It's forming the actual shape of the cardigan. And we're gonna take our sleeve that we've just seamed up here on the side and we are going to attach that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay my sleeve that's in, in the direction of these stitches. I wanna make sure that I'm keeping everything in the same direction. So look here, look here, everything matches up. So now I can turn the sleeve in this direction and I can fit it in here. Now, because the sleeve is a tube, it's now a tube shape. You're going to be joining here, and as you join, you're going to create more of a circular shape here at the shoulder as well. So to do this, you're going to want to pay attention to where your seam is on your sleeve. And we're going to make sure that we've got everything moving in the same direction, but we want to make our um, seam edge point on the inside of our arm and our body. So it, we wanna make sure that we position it so that it's going to be downward. Um, easiest way to do that is to come here at this edge. This is our side panel that we joined in. And this is, with this laid out, this is the center of the side panel. Let me move this where you guys can see. So this is the center of the side panel right here. And we want to line that seam up on our um, sleeve so that it's right about there in the center of that. So we're going to, easiest thing you can do is actually pin this out, um, pin it along this. This is stretchy, so I mean, it's, it's gonna fit and it's gonna work, but the easiest thing to do is do the pins because that way it's not gonna shift on you as you're working. So you're gonna grab some of your stitch markers. Um, I personally use these ones that kind of like lock together for something like this and then I'll undo them as I go along and get those out of my little bag. Um, I like these for this sort of thing. I got these at Walmart, nothing too fancy. Um, they were a few dollars for a hundred of them. So I'm gonna take my little safety pin and I'm going to insert it in right here around that edge of the sleeve at the um, seam. And then I'm just gonna come and insert it there at the center of my side panel. 
So kind of get that to line up. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing just every so often. Five or six of these total in there. You don't need it to be like perfectly joining up or anything. Um, you just want to kind of make sure that you've got it in position so it doesn't move on you. And then you're going to, uh, after you've got it pinned, you can go ahead and try this on. And make sure that your seam is lining up. Um, you know, this, this method's working great for the size that I made, which is the uh, 1X size. You may have to adjust a little bit, you know, if you're making one of the smaller sizes. So pin it on there and then give it a little try on. Obviously, you'll have gaps. Your sleeve will be gapping, <laughs> but you'll be able to get the feel for where your sleeve seam is going to land. Um, you really can't tell too much on these seams on the other side, but it's just kind of one of those little quirky things that I pay attention to when I'm doing a project and putting together something like a wearable. You know, I, I like my seams to be positioned just like they would be if you went and purchased this garment at the store. So... I guess probably seven of these will work for, for my size. Um, but you're going to go ahead, pin it on around, and then you will start using your yarn needle and your yarn to join. You're just going to grab, just like we've been doing, a um, stitch on each side and join it together. Um, you will finish up with this, and then you will come back with me, and we will do the final border on this piece so we're going to be turning this to the right side out or inside out however you want to say that we're going to flip this in so all of our seams are on the inside and then we're going to add the border so we will be meeting back up here in just a moment and let me kind of give you guys an idea when it's all joined in everything's meeting each other it's going to seam up really nicely you won't have those large gaps or anything and it'll work out just perfect. So hopefully you guys can see at this point how this is going to work out. And hopefully you are enjoying this and going to enjoy your finished project more than anything. That's the most important thing. So just pin it on up and then start. I started in the, um, basically the armpit area. <laughs> I started on in the inner of the sleeve and I started joining from there. So I just met up with one of these seam um, tails that I hadn't sewn in or clipped off. And I just met there and added my yarn and started going all the way around. And gave it a little test try on just to make sure my seam was adding, you know, going where I needed it to. If you turn your piece, like your seam for your, your um, project inside out, you can't see it anymore. So here it is on this side, right there. And then when you're looking at it, when you've got it turned where your right side is now out and all your seams are facing the inside, you can't see it. So pretty cool little trick there, the way it works out um, because you're joining right here in these double crochet areas essentially. It, it just hides it so well. So hopefully this has all made sense. If you have any questions, definitely leave me a comment below. And we will be back in just a moment to go ahead and add the border. Border is super simple to um, lay the foundation work for it. I'm actually going to show you on the sleeve um, so that we can do it around the sleeve together. And then you'll be adding the same border along the bottom edge and on your inside collar edge of your project right here so that it frames around you. So we'll be back in just a moment to do that together. 